Greetings, my friends. It is I, Kolar the Unkilled, continuing forth with an informal look at Lux. This being an example of Lux lighting within Nordic barrows and tombs. Sarthal being the case here, which is where I'm at. And I won't spend too much time on this because you will quickly get the idea. It's very dark, but this is probably the most realistic lighting that I have seen in such settings. Yes, it's so atmospheric. I mean, more than ever before with a lighting mod, I really feel like I'm underground in one of these cold, ancient tombs. So from here, we'll be going to the College of Winterhold, the magical College of Winterhold, actually, to see the Lux lighting within that area, specifically the Arcanium and the Archmage's dwelling. And I'm doing this without my candlelight spell, just so you can get a greater idea. But let me now go ahead and cast the candlelight. So that you can see it doesn't make much of a difference. It just, these back corners get lit up quite effectively. But the old candlelight just doesn't put out much actual light. And when we're in the darker areas, that light is absorbed by the surrounding darkness as it should be. Oh, how is this for realism, my friends? Is this not exquisite? I know what's waiting up there for us. Take him down! Take him down! Her! Oh. Yes. The illumination effect of the spell equipped is nice. So here we are, my friends, in the Arcanium, and let us see how Lux plays with the Magical College of Winterhold. The Magical College of Winterhold being a mod, of course, that any of you who ever play as a mage, even just a little bit, will have in your load order. It is a mod that I have in my load order regardless if I'm ever even going to be here or not because I feel it is just that important. But look at the lighting from this grand window, my friends. There's no flickering. There's no conflicts. And this, this is as it should be. I mean, it's a darkened area. You have your dark corners. You have your shadows. And yet you can see. You can see the whole area, my friends. Unlike when I had ELE with window shadows, when I had that pair, it was, well, it was far, far too dark. But this, this is excellent. 
I see nothing whatsoever to complain about here. Now let us have a look. Oh, by the nine, it is splendid. Simply splendid! Once again, I can see the whole area. Shadows, dark corners, and all, yet the whole area is visible in all of its magical glory, including the Archmage's robes, which I'm about to steal. Oh, my friends, I had hoped, I had hoped for as much. But you know, you know what this game of ours does when hopes get too high. You know what it does to you. It dashes those hopes upon the rocks of fate. Yet this, this works. This works flawlessly. Let us not forget the Dwimmer, my friends. Here we are within Mizinchaleft, the place where you retrieve Mule's sword. Now, I'm not really a Dwimmer Ruins type of guy, but Window Shadows did wonders with the lighting in these places. Lux thus far does not seem to be as dramatic, but it's still really good. It's darker, that is for sure. just does seem a bit a bit more eerie than before Very nice. 